Yanisia Awe Yawe Yanisia Awe You're a miracle walking God Your name is Yahweh Yahweh Your name is Yahweh A miracle walking God Your name is Yahweh Yahweh Your name is Yahweh a miracle walking God, your name is Yahweh. Hallelujah. Now, good evening. Good evening, my dear sister, favor. Good evening. Everybody wait day line. Good evening. God bless you. Now, now they follow me the day online. God bless you. Now, 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 welcome for this evening once again. Where we take day here, God bless all of you now. Even those where are not they see, those where they see right now, God bless you. Now. I know say so many of you are going to still join this line today. God bless all of you. Now, our topic today now, why we go become enemies? Why we go be enemies? Hallelujah. That be our topic for today. Amen. Uh, before I go start, make we suffer pray as we normally they do. Make we still they use this time. Take the wait for... Uh, all other of our uh, women where we the day here together and a few men where they like to join me too god bless you now glory Uduaki. god bless you for joining me this evening god will bless you my dear sister hallelujah amen this evening ma paulini jang good evening ma welcome ma god bless you wait to join me this evening as like i say as we they do make we pray before we we start. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and Lord and our God, King of glory, I just want to thank you for today. I want to thank you for every good thing what you know they do for us, even from the beginning to this day. Thank you, Papa, because no God will be like you. Another God, no day will be rich you for our life. Papa, now only you we know. And because we hold on to you, you yourself, the love where you carry give us a big one. You know, even look back, say, see the sin where we they do. You know, even cover your eyes, say, see the sin where we they do. You just look and say, all oh, these my children, make her forgive them. Make her forgive them. Make her continue to guide them. They go. Papa, we thank you. We thank you for our children. We thank you for our friends. We thank you for our loved ones. We thank you. Even for everybody where they are around us. We thank you, Papa. Say, so we know you hear bad news. All this while, away the waka, they go for grand. No one touch us. Papa, we thank you. And we know, say, the ones where our eye no see self, Papa, and I'm big pass for all. Thank you, Papa, because if to say you open our eyes, make we taste Siam. I know sure say we fulfill the sleep at all. Papa, thank you. Thank you, because we know say today you go do bigger than ever before. Even now, oh Lord, we call upon you, say I beg. Your word make it come out for us today. Your word and your word alone. The one way come out for my own mind, for my own mouth, Papa, remove her from the, your talk. Because your talk now your talk. And your talk go accomplish what you want, make it accomplish. Thank you, Papa, for today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. I said today's topic, my dear sisters, now, nah. why we go become enemies? Why we go be enemies? Amen. Bible talks say, God now one, Jesus now one. Why we go become enemies? Why be say, because a person waka come out for uh, our church. As he waka come out, if we see him for road again, we no go greet him again. Because we don't believe, say, he no follow us there our church again. Hallelujah. My sister, S.L. Hey. God bless you. Uka, God bless you, my dear sister. Wait till they join me. Mariam, God bless you, my darling. Long time, I never see you. Hey, my baby. JC, God bless you. I happy as everybody join line this evening. God will bless all of una. Una no go look for make una te do make una say una no see because now na papa way be God now get everything. Hallelujah. I said to that topic now. Uh, good evening, my dear blessing. 
Good evening. All of now where they come again on a good evening. I, I appreciate all of us as not join me. Today's topic, now topic where we say we go JJ talk. Make we know how we live. Make we listen. Amen. Why if we say one person come up for church? For our church, it will become our enemy. Why be say every time when person waka come up for our church? It go become our enemy. We go see him for road to even greet and pack by mouth. Go the heaviest to to greet the person or to even uh, stretch love hand forward. Say make we talk to the person, even if the person they run from us. We it good make it be say we approach the person, but we know they do so. This one we carry face go this side. The other one we carry face go this side. As if say church now now our own. Hallelujah. The church of God not be we get them. Not be we get them. Amen. Church of God as a day. Now only God, now body of Christ, the body of Christ. It's just like as God be the head of the church. Every other person are branches and the hand, leg, uh, toes, everything I will be for God body. So we not get church. Nobody gets church. Church not be person own. If we enter uh, make a supporter with our Bible, you know say na so at the do. If we na hold on a Bible, make una check her whether na so it true true talk. If we na look the book of Colos uh, Colossians chapter one, the book of Colossians chapter one. My paper don't fall. Oh. Uh -huh. The book of Colossians chapter one, from verse uh, verse eighteen. He said, and he is the head of the body. That be Jesus who, the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. So now he gets the supremacy of church. Now he now be church. Now he now be everything for church. We not just the body. We not just the follower. Of Christ Jesus, Amen, Hallelujah. Then, it go, it, as it be like that, church not supposed to belong to anybody. Where everybody go say, "Now nah, this now our church, this now my church, this now our church." It not supposed to be so, because now only God, now nah, nah, Jesus Christ, now nah, get church. Anybody can walk into church. Anybody can enter any church way like, and any time where the person like is still fit a waka come out for inside church. Amen. If we read uh, Ephesians 1 verse 22, he said, And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be God and uh, to be head over everything for the church, which is his body. He they say, uh, Now body will be the fullness of him who fulfills everything in every way. Hallelujah. Amen. So when God don't talk that one, say Nain get them, Nain get the church, Nain be everything. So we where the waka they come, we just be part of waiting in the already put make it stand. Hallelujah. And then Jesus Christ also say church not suppose where people will say this one are uh, this person, Mr. and Mrs. This person church, this one are uh, this person, this person church. It's not supposed to be like that. Church, not there for a particular person. Church, now all of us, our papa house, now it be. Now the, the building, now everybody they call church today, but not the building, but rather your heart. Now it be the temple of God. Now there, now it be the church of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now the duty... This one will be say with the third person our enemy because say you know they go our church again. Evaluation is very necessary in the daily life of a Christian. Evaluation. Evaluate yourself. Amen. Evaluate yourself. Try as much as possible to evaluate yourself. When you they go to church, you they attend a particular church, and you they go to the church. You they follow them, things not the waka as you want them. Or you uh, inside you, not they receive what they give out for the church. That place might not be for you. 
Amen. That place will not be for you. If it they feed another person, well, well, say as the pastor, they give a message. As everything they work out for inside the church, if they go for another person, if they float for another person, the person they appear every time we reach there now in fullness of joy they receive. But you wait they there. there. You will become, become a separate person right now. You know they get that feeling. You know they feel that goodness. You know they feel that flow of joy. You know they get that fountain. You know they reach you. You know me say, the pastor know they preach well. You know me say, according to people, say fire not dead the church. You know me so. Rather, that is not your place. Amen. Our papa don't already tell us, say, he say, he say na vineyard. Everybody, he said the harvest is much. Harvest many, he said, but workers few. Hallelujah. I bet not help me share this video. He said, but workers few. So which means if you reach for the farm, you go, you know, say at those days, where would they go farm? He go, uh, when you reach farm, they go, you know, say, Papa, they bought many children. He go share this side for per for one person. He go share the other side for So he say, you, John, go here. Mary, go here. You, Joseph, go here. You, Maggie, go here. You, uh, this thing, go this side. Now, so they say the share. Now, so God, what be? Now, so God, what be? He give everybody in your to share for inside that garden. Give everybody in your thing to follow for inside that garden. Hallelujah. So probably when you there for inside that church, you know they feel that uh, uh, spirit, that water, not they touch you, that flow, not they enter you. It might be that one not be where God asks you to be. So by the time you evaluate yourself and you find out that you uh, don't you evaluate everything concerning the church, people they say that they blessed, but you are not blessed. Then it is the time for you to ask yourself certain questions. Hallelujah. And when you they ask yourself that certain questions, be truthful to yourself because you want not make you not cheat yourself. Amen. Be truthful to yourself, make you not cheat yourself. By the time when you come find and say, at the end of the day, I'll not be not be me. This place not be for me. Carry your bag. Go meet the pastor of the church that is if you have become a worker you are you are grown up in the church you just want to uh, separate carry yourself go meet the pastor of the church or elders of the church make an appointment talk about it see what are the fee see what are the fee and i believe now say i get to go hallelujah no under whose anointing you are because you go just there for that kind of church where they say not be there. God call you to come do something. You go just there, there they waste away. And for some people, it is of a time. Time go, you go go there, you go to walk there, you go to do everything there. But time go reach where they say you're not there satisfied anymore with those few things where you they do. You're not there satisfied anymore with those work out where you work out inside the church. You all you need now is to move ahead. And not look at like say na bad thing you won't do because you are growing. Bible say church supposed to be a place to groom people. When they groom, they finish. They go leave them into the world, send them into the world to go and be disciples. Now so Jesus do it. When you don't train, they finish. He go send them out to go be disciples. So you are not born to be in one place. If you find yourself not being satisfied in a particular place, then make a move. Because you are no longer a baby Christian. So your spirit is longing for more. Your spirit is longing to move. Your spirit is longing to go ahead and do greater things. Amen. So not tie yourself down because of sentiment. Not use sentiment to tie yourself down. The pastor will understand you if you walk up to the pastor and say, Pastor, this is my situation, and this is what I have planned to do. Not take anger, leave church. That one, you know, go. Not take anxiety, leave church. That one, not be waiting God's make we do, because anger, not a born good picking. Everybody know that one. Amen. So, when you are leaving, let your pastor know that you are leaving. Live in good faith. Live in peace. When you live in peace, Every other thing where you go do for us, I let them pray for you. Every other thing where you go do for us, I go walk. Because you leave that place in peace. Amen. Hallelujah. The place where they come this evening now. 
Eh, why it can't be say if not like this night Bible talk say ah make we make we the the dua say if we not they satisfied we get right to move ahead, you know. Then what it can't make some people when you come up for their church when they see you. Amen. When they see you, they go come begin. They do face like say they not see you. Immediately they don't sight you say they come. They go cross over to the other side of the road because now don't become the face say because you don't go to their church again. Now don't become enemy. One thing I want to say this evening is that those way they behave like that they never grow. They still be baby Christians. They still they drink milk so they never eat flesh. Not to talk of say they won't begin to eat bone. So they don't know. Now you, now you go stretch forth your hand. Call them if you see them. Amen. Call them if you see them. Don't feel rejected. Say because a person come up for your church. Or a person come up for your group for church. Or a person don't work out leave you. That kind of a thing. So now you they feel bad. They feel rejected. They feel like say uh, why the person go call come up for our church. You're not supposed to come up for our church. No. God not so many person tied down one place. Remember also say the people where work out come to your church so na church so then to self they come up for another church before. Hallelujah. So Remember, say some members they inside that on a church for there. Where it be say they say self, they still come out for another church. Jesus now be the head of church, bishop, pastor, or the every other person now part of the uh, body. Now all of us be amen. So when it be say that person don't cross over, you don't see say he don't come out. All you need to do. Be say when you see her, make you greet her. Make her know say you see her. My dear sister, not be quarry. Not be quarry. Rather, we are a big family. We are a big family that anybody will come out. The only thing where every member need to do for that person. Now to pray, make it not fall out from the, the Christian uh, 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 kingdom. Make it not fall come out for godly way. Make it not fall come out for the things where God they talk. Come go because somebody way go say because of one thing or the other he no go church again. Hallelujah. So if he still be say he they go church that's not the work of our follow up people or uh, work of pastor to even still they call and ask and say my dear sister how was service today? How is this? How is that? Make it take day show say this person not for come up for church, but what I enter house sit down, but rather is still there in the way of the Lord. Is still they go church. Is still they is still they go uh, uh, receive uh, the anointing of God every time. Amen. Because some people, when they see say they don't come up for one particular church, they will just go as they'll go sit down. They'll tell you say they don't want to go any church again. But the Lord did not say so. He said we should fellowship. Amen. He said we should fellowship with brothers and sisters. So no matter the annoyance, anger, Jesus said he talk and by said Jesus Christ said talk and say we must offend one another. No way we not go tell offend one another. Teeth and tongue they quarrel. So if na quarrel won't carry you come up for church, calm down. Now for a time, everything gets season. Season of annoyance the day. By the time when you calm down, you will find and say that thing will one make you come out with that anger. It go calm down, it go die down. It go die a natural death if you keep on quiet. If you keep that particular thing quiet, it go, it go, it go die a natural death. Not be everything, not be the, the top put. You know, we get to mature to learn. Even me, I mature to learn them. I grow to learn them. That at a time, you just need to ignore anything where anybody they talk. Continue with the work where God give you. Continue with the fit with your... You know, focus on what God gives you to do. Stand on the way of God and continue to focus on Him. Do not miss the goal where God set for you. Not take because of worldly things or because of anger, because of anxiety, because of quarrel, because of you, you feel, say, uh, I got to do one. Not take because of that one come up for his church. Hallelujah. Oh, they're not treat me well. Therefore, just treat me like this. Treat me like this. Everybody cannot think like you it took me time to understand this it took me time to know that everybody cannot be like me because like me i want maybe say everything they work as i they put and die they, they function 
But I came to my senses later to learn that in the things of God, you don't do it with your power. You allow God, you speak it and allow God to take control. Allow the Holy Spirit to take control. Do the convincing. Just allow it go. You don't do your own. That's your own way. You don't do so. If you can't go the stretch put, can't they stress yourself, the uh, hammer on it, you are telling the Holy Spirit that enough you do in work. And you know if you do the work better than the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So you speak the word, you send the message, and then allow it to work. Allow the, just send the Holy Spirit with it and allow it to work. Amen. Hallelujah. It take me time oh, every time I saw verse. Ah, the things of God are supposed to be done like this, are supposed to be done like this. Why is it not functioning? Why are the women not standing? Why are the women not doing this? Why are the children? Why are they? But not be by power, not by mind. Hallelujah. It take me time to learn up. It's not by power, not by mind. I came to understand it. When I read that thing for Bible before, I just an ordinary talk. But later I found out that, mm -hmm, just quiet and just, just say it, that it is, it is going to be done. And the Lord will make it all come to pass at his own due time. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This topic I'm talking today because of certain things. I want to put certain things straight. Amen. I want to quickly read another thing for, for the book of John. 1 John uh, 4, verse 1. He said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Amen. Hallelujah. When you did there, when you say your spirit, they tell you, say, move, 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 move. Check under whose anointing now you did. Check under whose anointing now you did. If it work for another person, but you, if it not work for you, maybe not be that place, not be God send you today. Amen. Hallelujah. If you look at very well, uh, most of the time, the first place where we get to keep everybody at all cost. Most people they like say, ah, my church people know many. So anybody where you come, you won't keep out with all your power. You won't use your power. You won't use your influence. You won't use everything to take in the person inside your church. Many are called a few are chosen. Those that are called are for a season. When they finish their work, then go go. Some not to come plant bad seed inside the church. Some not to come, come repair certain things inside the church. Some not to build, gather together, arrange, and then they move ahead to another church again. Now their work be that. Now God send them. Another one again not to just come, come create trouble, fight here, fight there, take everybody head, knock. Then he move. Now different, different type. Now and then they see. Hallelujah. Amen. Sisters, make I repeat the, the verse. That is uh, in the book of uh, John. 1 John chapter 4, for verse 1. Amen. Hallelujah. So, by the time we, they don't take everybody head, knock, finish. They don't knock everybody head, finish beside the church. So, they say, for sister and sister, not go greasy down for the same seat again. Now, the same bus, the one enter, go house. One go wait, make one bus fair go first, before you go enter the second one. It don't make sense. For such people to remain inside the church, make the quick, quick move. If you don't want to make your church scatter completely, then make them move fast. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes when people are going, don't hold them back. Allow them go because they have finished their duty. They have finished what they have come to do. They don't finish them. So they need to move ahead. They need to go forward. They need to move. But by the time you keep them there, because you feel say, oh, that sister, they walk away well, from well, inside church. You they think and say, you won't, ah, uh, everybody will go meet her for house. Oh, sister, why are you behaving like this? What happened? Let's go, uh, do this. Let's do that. Uh, why don't we do it like this? You are making a mistake. Because that person is called and the time is just for a season. So when that season finish, it go go away. Nothing where you go do, where you go hold them back. But when it is a chosen one, it remains with you. 
throughout the rain, throughout the sun, throughout the uh, storm, he did there. Because now there God sent them to. Hallelujah. So when person come up for church, you not be our enemy. They could make sure say, I want to clear that one for our mind. If that person not be our enemy at all, at all. Because he still there inside the house of God. Even if now the opposite church he go. Now there God call and now say make he can't do what he need to do. Amen. So say a uh, person come up for your church, not me say you not be better pastor or you not be better leader or you not be no in season, don't reach, it don't pass. So you get to move on. People na builder, like I talked before. Some people na builder, some people na they gather, some people na to come, and when they enter your church, people start coming because they be that they, they gather. Now they harvest, that they, they gather. But by the time where they, they go, you see, said one of the people where they break on church, you know, they follow them go because now their message where God send them, now be that. So when they finish, they move ahead and go to another, another place. Amen. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good, my dear sisters. <clears throat> if we read the Matthew 28, uh, uh, Matthew 28, mm -hmm. verse uh, 19 to 20. Amen. If you read Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20. God bless you, sister. I say, oh, hey, wait, you help me share this video. God bless you. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So, in not seven persons down for one place. So, if the person they come out, wish them well, pray for them, that the mantle where you wear he won't carry so, may God help him so that he will carry him well. Harvest Boku, people need to go out there. They don't need to sit down for one place. Not be that one God to make we do. Amen. So, I beg my dear sisters, if somebody don't come out for your church, if somebody don't come out for where you they worship, See her for road, greet and well, well, because he's still your sister in Christ. Amen. That person is still your sister in Christ. That person is still your friend in Christ Jesus. God, not, God, God, not the, God, not send us all those ones to begin the I, your church member before, because say, you know, they go to church again. No. No, no. Not at all. Because what do you they gain there? You know, they gain them anymore. So you need to move forward. That person need to move. You now, maybe you just come. God don't put you say, now member of the church you will be. Now, now be the pillar where you go stand the church. So, remain there. Because that's your work. But the person where be saying, you only get to move. Now, mover, now it be. Now, 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 apostle where be say, you get to the, you get to the move every time. That kind of a person, you can't hold that person down in any way. You know, fit. Amen. Hallelujah. So make we read uh, Matthew 9. Matthew 9, verse 37. He said, Then he said to his disciples, that Jesus they talk of, he said, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. Amen. So if everybody is down for his one church, the harvest, they're not going to harvest them more. Amen. If all of us just did one place, one circle, just they turn around there, we're not going to harvest the harvest. So people have to break away. Hallelujah. Amen. All the person need, now may the leaders of the church just get up, follow the person, Waka. Say, oh, my daughter, my son, how you do? I hope so you still there in Christ Jesus. That's all. Let's cut on with prayers. That's all you need to, to do. If everybody leave each other with good spirit, everybody follow each other with good spirit. As if they come up for church, oh my dear sister, God bless you. And where you they go, so make it be say better pass for you. Simple. My dear sister, eh, you will not know each other before. Eh? Becoming enemies. Let me say, Christ not there in you before. Let me say, Christ not dwelling in you before. 
Because if Christ dwell in you, Christ dwells in you with love. He dwell in you in love. He dwell in you with love. You just see, huh? So everything concerning you should be in love. He said, even our enemies, even if at the end of the day that person can't become your enemy, say, because say, he don't come up for your church, say the person can't become your enemy, he says, still love them. He said, your enemies, love them too. Hallelujah. So if I leave a particular church and I go to another church, I am not your enemy. Rather, I am no longer satisfied with the food that is being served there. So I have to go to an area where I can't be satisfied. Where my spirit is at peace. Where my inner self go day happy. Because I did go, you see, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So by the time when he be say, then go say to me now, let us go into the house of the Lord. At the squeeze face, at the feet say, ah, ah, today again, this church again. Then don't go at all. Because you are not going to gain anything there. You're not going to gain anything at all, at all. Nothing go reach you. Go to a place. When they say to you, let us go into the house of the Lord, you will jump. You are happy to go. You are ready to go. And when you get there, you are ready to walk in the house of the Lord. You are prepared to do anything with the Spirit. Even people from the other church, when they come, they see you say, you they jump up and down. They say, look at this sister, when they are at our church, you just sit down. Hallelujah. Moreover, going to another church, it go even help. Sometimes it they help for people to recognize the talent where God put in you. Probably your church no fair recognize your talent. But where God wants you to use that talent, when you get there, when you get to that particular place, your talent will be recognized. Your talent will be seen. Your talent will be known. Hallelujah. They don't need to, to search for long. They will see your talent. Immediately you enter that church, they will tell you what and what and what. Oh, sister, this person, you are, we are new. This, that, that, that. Before you know, you will start working. Amen. Rather than just be a bench warmer in a church, why don't you go as try to go elsewhere where you go be a worker to harvest for the Lord, to take your position in the vineyard of the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear sisters, I sure so now understand me this evening, and I know say. God go using word to bless anyone among the way they think of for him. might say, make a come out, make a stay. I never even understand. If not out of quarry, if not out of quarry, won't make you come out. My dear sisters, don't move. Leave it, let it lie low. Let it calm down. Relax yourself. Put your mind down. Let that annoyance come down. Because na due na season, it go come out, it go pass. And then everything where you want to do in the house of the Lord, you'll be able to do it. But if it be say you are no longer satisfied, you are no longer satisfied. The word of God, where they come to you, it don't mean anything to you anymore. Then it is time to move. Hallelujah. And when you go out of the church, it doesn't mean that every other member of the church has become your enemy. When you see them for road, greet them, hug each other. Talk about life. Talk about the things of God. Exchange views. How things can be in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes when we they try to put the things of God together, devil, they for one place, they arrange your own two where you want console inside. You remember when Bible talks, say, uh, uh, Jesus Christ also say he give us one parable. He said when uh, the workers don't work finish, they go to their house, go to sleep. He said enemy come come plant uh, 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 weed. Uh -huh. He come 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 plant weed inside waiting. Jesus Christ uh, inside waiting the people don't don't plant, and then they, they come back because he said both weed and their uh, uh, crop where they plant all oh, don't grow. 
Ah, now they say no, may they pull the the grass then come on. Jesus said no, no pull on. Wait, make the don't it don't reach time where be say they go they reap, they go they harvest. So that by the time of harvest, you go they remove the crop, go one side, the grass you go remove and go one side. So that when you don't carry your crop, come on, finish, you go pack the uh, the uh, weed together, set them on fire so that it go destroy amen he said because if you're not doing like that you go destroy both your crop and uh, the weed together which will not be a good thing may god not allow us to labor in vain in jesus name all this labor all the labor in the house of the lord may god use it for us may god see it for us and use it to bless us in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah so any one of us where they out here today where they feel say ah as I don't stay that church rich, they never even recognize me. They never even want to say, I did for this church. I did for the work. They're not even they thank me. My dear sister, your reward, your reward, na eternal life. You get your reward here too, because any two person they do, if they get gain, no. if they get too, because all the blessings, all the care, everything that God they do for you, except if they tell me, say, you get your own power. But if not, you where they wake up every day, every morning, now because of God's power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Make I just take this uh, uh, one round up. Mark 10, verse 29. Make I just take a round up, my dear sisters. He said, truly I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel. 30 say we fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. Homes in this present age, oh, not be say this one not be never be for heaven, for here. He say homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, fields, along with persecution. <laughs> now there they go. Hmm? He said, after I don't talk all the good, good one, where my heart, they may, eh, 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 I go get an eh, eh. He said, but with that, all those good, good things, he said persecution. And what if be persecution? They go beat you. They go lie for your body. They go drag you. They go insult you. They go fight you. And in the age to come, eternal life. Amen. So if you go feel rip. If you go feel enjoy the fruit where they come from hard work, where be say you they won't do, he said then ready also to enjoy the persecution where follow on. Persecution means say suffering, long suffering, where follow on. Because you're not going to just only collect. You understand? You still get to suffer a little bit. And they suffer now the backbiting, jealousy, hatred, now uh, uh, Ah, this and that, they will talk. That one, ready to take them as stamp, take them as soap, take rub. As far as you want to collect the good things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, but many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Amen. Hallelujah. So for the house of God, where you did, now you be last or now you be first. Amen. Because Bible talk and now here say the last shall be the first. So if now you the clean floor, now you the clean chair, you feel say eh, because of that they, they look me anyhow. Remember, say Bible say the last shall be the first, and the first shall be the last. The word where God talk, he not the lost. He not the lost. As he talk and so, now so it be. Amen. I take myself learn. I take myself give an example this evening. It has not been an easy journey. It has never been. Mm -hmm. And it is not going to be easy. It never ever easy to follow Christ Jesus. Even Jesus himself, self, Papa. So he died put for the matter. So he know easy. You remember the, the disciples of Jesus, the apostles them. He said, one, they kill him with stone. The other one, they cut off his head. The other one, they nail him for cross, turn upside down. So who be me? Put yourself in that position and say, who be me? Anything where they like, let them they talk. But if you are fool, I mean I'm this evening, if you are fool, wherever you are, you they fool. 
you know say right now i'm no longer blessed in this church i'm no longer receiving what i used to receive when i was when i was really enjoying this church then it is time to move a place is waiting for you where the lord will really open your way for you a platform is waiting for you that the lord has kept for you so do not use sentiments it is not about sentiments it is about your soul it is about your salvation it is about christ in you the hope of your glory hallelujah so if you don't hold it well nobody will hold it for you if you don't if you don't secure it nobody will secure it for you it is you and you alone May God bless you. May God keep you. May God continue to allow things that are of his to come your way. My dear sisters, I hear that talk and reach this evening. But I know that the Lord will convince you more. The Lord will teach you more. Do not be sentimental about the things of God in a wrong way. Do not be over carried away now my church, now our church. No. Not at all. It is God's church. Not yours. Amen. So when your time is over, you move ahead. Because you are called for a season. Once you start feeling that bone inside you to move, please move. Because another place, they wait for you where God wants you to walk. Where God wants you to build, it will wait for you. Hallelujah. And they tell you the truth, try it. If you just enter the church one day, they don't notice who you be. Because now you then they wait for, for that position. Let God keep all of us. Till next Thursday, we are going to see you now again. May God bless us. May God keep us. May God keep our children. May God continue to protect us. May God continue to direct our ways. Make heavens remember every little thing where will they do for his sake. Papa, God Almighty, now you and I will know. We don't know another God. This evening as we come, come meet you, Papa. Let your goodness and mercy make it continue to follow us. Let your grace not come off for our life. Papa, say because we know, say if we fall out of your grace, we know say our own don't finish. Papa, we know say if we fall out of your ways also, the grace where you take over us don't come out for our body. So that's one mm -hmm. where we they always they talk, say once we don't burn again, we don't burn again, finish. Papa, we know say that is the lie of the devil. Because if we come out for your way, you don't come out for our way. So Papa, continue to keep us for your way. Anytime when we ask for forgiveness, if they get anything, what we do, what we say, not right. Papa, forgive us so that you could continue to direct us. As we want to work out this one week, so God, send your angels. May they continue to guide us, guide our children, guide everything where it concern us. Our place of work. Because there's so many people now, they go because of this disease where they go. People, they say they want a new, oh, our former, the kind of life where they live before. Papa, me, I they ask today, I don't want the former normal life. What thing I want today, Lord, if it be say a day for your mind to do it, Papa, give us a new normal life. Wait, it be say, we go to understand you. We go to love you. We go to honor you so that our ways go to straight. This one where everybody they live, jaga, jaga, jaga. Papa, take and come out. Papa, take and come out. Direct ways. Direct things your own way. We go benefit your children in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. My dear sisters, till next Thursday again, oh, may God join me. Oh. May God bless you. I'm going to keep my children well for me. Oh. By the grace of Almighty God, we will see you again next Thursday. Now, bye-bye. Oh. Mona, help me share this video for those who really need to hear. God bless you now. Now, bye-bye.